Sub dude and dudes, this is Froggy Two K Nine. Today I'm bringing you a video on my new overlay. So please tell me in the comments you if you like the new overlay. For one, I got it wrong. I am not using some of the things that are shown inside the overlay, so it's it's only my first attempt. So please don't please don't hate too much. I am uh, I'm not an expert with Photoshop. And I really, 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 really don't think that's really good. <laughs> I will change it slightly. I'm probably going to pull... I'm probably going to um, make the lettering smaller, maybe, just a little bit, so I can fit a little bit more in. I might pull the video over to the left a bit, so that, like, that, that bit over by the right. That I'll pull that in a bit, so the video will get slightly smaller with the width but it won't get any smaller as in the actual, you know, the height, so the width will get a little bit smaller. But as you can see, it counts the kills, the deaths, the KDR, and the kill streak. It counts the current kill streak, not the highest kill streak. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, of making it so that my primary weapon and my secondary weapon are on top of each other and the numbers go next to each other so to bring it up a bit maybe yeah I'll probably do that, I'll probably bring it up a bit as well make make the general video size just a little bit smaller and and then stick that secondary weapon underneath so I can stick the perks in a row and then stick the primary and the secondary grenade underneath them and then put uh, the, the, some numbers underneath there to count how many grenade kills I get and secondary grenade kills. I'm probably going to take the kills, the deaths, the KDR, and the kill streaks out and put in that area the uh, the kill streaks themselves. So uh, if I have like um, if I have like I have here the uh, the specialist package, then I'll just put the perks up there and. Uh, yeah, I, I just stick like the numbers next to them will be how many times I get those get those um, specialist perks, and I'll also put the like super specialist at the bottom. I was thinking to put in the Moab on there as well, like on every single video, so that you don't know if I get it on every single video or I actually do a series of Moabs, so I can really do it. Yeah, so so uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think needs changing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of thoughts going through my head right now of what I need to update, what I need to fix, what I need to change because at the moment, for one, it's wrong because this game is really, really old. I, I, I knew a little bit about it when I was actually doing the Photoshop. I couldn't actually find the game in, for like a little while because it was still stored in my old Fraps folder because I used to store all my videos in my Fraps folder so that they were all in one place and it took me absolutely ages to find this game. I knew I had it somewhere. But it's, it's not the best game and it's not the worst game. I was thinking, I know, it's a pretty average game for me, so... I thought I might stick it up there. But as you can see, it counts the kills, counts the deaths, counts the KDR, and I was thinking overall, I don't need the kills up there, because I'll have every everything that could possibly get kills up there in, in the next overlay attempt, because this is going to be overlay attempt one. I'm going to do a couple of attempts before I actually get my full overlay. And I'm probably going to be doing fix to Modern Warfare 3 for now, so it's going to be Modern Warfare 3 overlay. I'll do one for Modern Warfare 2, World of War, uh, Black Ops, and Call of Duty 4. You know, all the Call of Duties I'll do an overlay for. But I, th I think it's pretty good. I, I do. I, you know, for first attempt, for a guy, for a guy who's not very good with Photoshop at all, I am really, really bad with Photoshop. I think it's a pretty damn good attempt. I especially like that thing up in the top left where I've got the Modern Warfare 3. That's uh, that took a, that took a while to get that shape right. It's uh, I was thinking as well up in that top, put another shape like that next to it, put the same shape sort of thing, but put in there um, the number of times I like pick up dog tags in a match or the number of times I um, I, I prevent I prevent dog tags stuff like that. That's what I was thinking. If you, if you like that idea, tell me, because I'll do it for like flag caps as well if I play in, you know, capture the flag or if I'm playing domination, something like that. It just shows how, how much I'm actually playing the objective. Like I'll put in there on defend the, 
defending the flag and like capturing the flag and stuff like that. So if you if you like any of those ideas, please tell me in the comments what you like, why you like it, what you don't like, what you don't like about it, and tell me what you think I need to update. I I really like the idea of that kill streak, the the current kill streak. I was thinking of doing a highest kill streak as well, the highest kill streak of the game. I will be able to fit that all in there. I just need to get my get my lettering a bit smaller. Perhaps pull that video in. I, I definitely pull that video up a little bit and to the left a little bit. So it's it's slightly smaller. It won't be much smaller, but it'll be slightly smaller just to fit a little bit more in on that overlay, make it look a bit better. Uh, the kill streaks, as you can see, change color depending on what kill streak I currently have. I apologize for that one sec. Okay, guys, I apologize for that. But yeah, as you can see, it changes color. It goes it goes from red to uh, to amber to green, depending on what kill streak I'm on. So if I if I'm on like um, if I'm on my first kill streak, it's red. If I go onto my second kill streak, it's, it's amber. If I go onto my third kill streak, it's green. And I was thinking when it gets close to a Moab or something like that, I'll turn it gold or something like, like a yellowy color. Just just to separate those kill streaks out a bit. I was just thinking, what could I do to make the kill streaks stand out a bit? And colors were the best way to go. I was thinking of doing a similar thing for the for the kills. And the deaths, like to turn the deaths slowly red. If I get too many deaths, I, I like ten deaths will be too many, sort of idea. But like, if I go into the kills, the higher the kills, slowly turn the colors up for that gun or or that uh, secondary or even the equipment or whatever, whatever I get the kills with. Because I, I will be I will be changing this up a bit. I will be changing this up quite a bit. This is only the first attempt. I'm, I'm, I decided, you know what? Let's do a couple of attempts. See what the reaction is. So please, guys, please put in the comments what you do, what you like, dislike about it, and don't don't be too vague. Put a little bit of detail in there. I want I want to see exactly why and exactly what is wrong. And any comments that say it's shit will get blocked most likely, because you know that's that's not helping at all. You know, if you say something shit, it can't be fixed. You know, they don't know what's wrong with it. They don't know what's right with it. You know. You just said his shit. <laughs> You're not a very constructive person. You know, I've never done that. I, I will never just go on and just dislike the crap out of something and say I hate it, I hate it, this is horrible. You know, I, I give reasons why. Even in real life I've never actually done that. I've always given a reason for stuff. So please give reasons. Give a lot of reasons. I'm open to constructive criticism. Thank you very much.